Hello, and welcome to the ICC Configuration Studio tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll show you the basic steps used to configure a device using the ICC Configuration Studio. To start configuring a device, we first need to add it to our project. We can do that by dragging a device from the Available Devices pane into the Project pane. An item can also be added by double-clicking, hitting the Enter key, or right-clicking and selecting Add. If you add an item to the project pane that you no longer want in your configuration, you can drag the item to the bottom of the project pane and into the trash can to remove it. An item can also be removed by hitting the Delete key or right-clicking and selecting Remove. Now we'll continue our configuration of the device by adding a port to configure. As you can see, each time we add a new item to our project, it gets selected in the project pane so that we can continue to configure the item we just added. Next, we'll add a protocol to the port. Most gateway applications require a master or client driver on one port to access data on a device and a slave or server driver on the other to expose that data to a different network. We'll start with the master driver by adding Modbus RTU master to the port. Now that we've added a configurable element into our project, we can see its configuration settings in the settings pane. If you are unsure of what an item or configuration setting does, you can hover the mouse over its name to display a description of that item or setting. Before we continue, we need to configure the protocol we just added to match the network settings of the device we want to communicate to. Next, we'll add a service object to define the data we wish to access. Service objects are used by master or client drivers to define a range of consecutive parameters that the gateway will read or write. You'll notice that once we add a service object to our project, the device tree turns red and an error symbol appears next to each element. This indicates that there are errors in our project. You can hover the mouse over an element to see a description of the errors associated with that element. There are also red boxes and error symbols on some of the settings in the settings pane. This indicates that these settings are invalid. Hover the mouse over a setting to see the error associated with that setting. To fix the errors, let's enter some values for the fields. For this example, we'll create only one register and map it at the beginning of the gateway's database. Now that we're done configuring the gateway to access data from a device, we now need to expose the data onto a different network. We'll configure the other port for BACnet MSTP server and set the baud rate settings to match our BACnet network. Next, we'll add a node to the network for the gateway to reside at and assign an address to it. Finally, we need to map a BACnet object to the Modbus holding register we created earlier to expose that data on the BACnet network. The two settings to make note of here are the database address and data type. These settings must match the settings we used in the Modbus service object. As we can see, we used a database address of 0, and the data type is 16-bit unsigned. We'll enter those values in the settings for our BACnet object. Now that we've finished configuring our objects, we can look at the database pane to see where our objects are mapped in the Gateway's database. The database locations used by the objects are colored. You can also hover the mouse over a location to see what's mapped there. The last step is to download our configuration to a device. To go online with a connected device, select the Online Devices heading in the Project pane and add the device. Now, right-click on our configuration under the Device Configurations heading and select Download Configuration. The Studio prompts us to make sure we want to overwrite the current configuration on the device. Click Yes to proceed. After the download is complete, the device will be using the new configuration. I hope this tutorial has taught you the basics of how to configure a device using the ICC Configuration Studio. If you'd like to learn more about how to use the ICC Configuration Studio, take a look at the other tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.